This will be a tech review from a non-techie person. Yes, me. I'm a travel girl, but today we're going to be comparing the 16-inch MacBook Pro versus the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Let's begin. Today, we will be comparing the Space Gray 13-inch MacBook Pro 2017 version to the 16-inch Space Gray MacBook Pro 2019. As you can see here, there's obviously a bigger difference because they are two different sizes. So that's 13 inch down there. You know, you see the little nice apple and the 16 inch is the one that is above. Here is the 16 inch model. As you can see, I'm opening up the screen. Nice little background. This is the new Catalina, Mac OS Catalina. It does have a few differences from the Mac OS Mojave. And we'll go over that later, but as you can see, they have switched back to the old style scissor keyboard. Apparently a lot of people complained to Apple about the new butterfly keyboard that you have on the 13 inch 2017 model. So they are back to the scissoring keyboard. You have here the same touch bar. You can do the same thing. You can either slide or click. They have an escape button now, which is interesting. We'll also discuss that later. But other than that, pretty the same, same thing as the 13 inch model. Not too many differences, same thing pretty much. As I was saying before, they have now added back an escape button. Apparently a lot of people complained about that. And also the touch to unlock is also a button now as well. So those are two differences from the 13 inch model. And now we have here the 13 inch 2017 model. Whoop, let me get rid of that. But as I was saying before, this was the butterfly keyboard. And this touch ID is not a separate button. It's still the one bar which is the older version now that we have the 16 inch well let me get rid of my personals but anyways so as you can see here this is the escape pad or the escape a part of the touch bar it's not a separate button as the new 2016 model it's the butterfly keyboard opposed to the scissoring keyboard personally i think i might like the butterfly more but it looks like i make less errors with the scissoring it's still the same, you know, same touch bar. You can slide, tap. One thing that's different about the butterfly keyboard is that it's much flatter than the scissoring keyboard. I will say that. Again, I'm not a tech person, but one thing I have noticed the difference between the two is that on the 16 inch, you can no longer stack on your desktop. On my 13 inch, I can definitely stack on my desktop. And I'll show you right here. You see all my documents? Those are all in one stack. Once I click the documents, that will now reveal all the documents I have. The stack method is pretty much meant to save me some screen real estate. Rather than having a bunch of documents and stuff all spread out, the stack method helps them all be in one place. So that is no longer on the new 16-inch model. It is only a feature that's on the 13-inch or something that has Mac OS Mojave, not Mac OS Catalina. Also, there is no longer a dashboard. As you can see here, the 16 inch cannot go to a dashboard. I searched and searched and I found out that they removed it as well. Another thing I have noticed is now with the new 16 inch, because there's pretty much more space, there also seems to be more space for speakers. As you can see on my 13 inch, the little speaker dots or speaker bars, again, I'm not a tech person obviously, there's much less space for the 13 inch. On the 16 inch is a lot more space. So now let's do a quick volume test. Can you spot any sound differences? Let's listen again. I'm hearing some differences. Let's check out the 16 inch one more time. Definitely a difference in the bass, I will say. So again, you don't need me to know that the obvious, the trackpad is going to be bigger on the 16 inch model because it's simply a bigger laptop. And then on the 13 inch model, it's still a big trackpad, but obviously it's a little bit smaller. Other than that, you know, there's going to be the basic, you know, size differences. The 16 inch is clearly going to be bigger than the 13 inch, but other than that, there's no difference with how it looks, just bigger in size. Same on the top, you know, same top, just that the 13 inch will be smaller and the 16 inch will clearly be bigger. 
So again, now with this new 16 inch, you see the introduction to the Mac OS Catalina. And on the old 13 inch, you have the Mac OS Mojave. And you can always Google the differences between the two. Like I said, the ones that I mentioned are the stacking and the iTunes, actually. I'll show you that one right now. Another difference I notice is that the music and iTunes buttons. On the 16 inch here, you see that it now says music. But if I go over to my 13 inch, it says iTunes. So let's look at some of the differences, shall we? When you open it, to me, this one looks way better. This is a 16 inch on the Catalina. Just a prettier interface and less mumbo jumbo. Everything is neat, organized, and pretty, you know? And now let's go over to the one that is the 13 inch, the old iTunes that we're used to. Yeah, not so pretty. You still got words at the top. Everything's not on the side like how it is over here. So personally, I do like the 16 inch version better and it no longer says iTunes it says music so I give this one a thumbs down yeah thumbs down and I give the 16 inch a thumbs up so here you have it folks the basic differences between the 16 inch and the 13 inch I would say the main difference is the size so if you like bigger laptops go with the 16 inch you all have a great day bye bye